here's a table I got at a garage sale. Uh, you can see it's kind of funky, uh, dirty, uh, probably in somebody's garage for a long time, and um, <laughs> not being used. But I could use the table space, and so I'm going to uh, work on it, clean it up. I got some ideas for it. All right, I moved this back uh, to the back patio now, <clears throat> and I finished giving it uh, coats. I used about four cans of uh, partially filled cans that were several years old, probably 10, 12 years old. So hopefully you know, this, <coughs> it works. I think it will. So that's what we got so far. Okay, I think I have everything ready. I've got a pen to do my marking. I've got a straight edge here to do a, make a straight edge. And I've got a linoleum cutter and this glass to cut the round edges. And if this is a success, I'll have a video. And if not, well, I won't have a video. And this one seems to have the juice. Okay, this is a brand new linoleum knife. I've never done this before. I don't know that it'll work, but I'm going to give it a try. Feels like it's working, but I think it went out of the line here. Let's see. Shoot. Okay. Let's try to get another. Feels like I'm hitting the wood. Yeah, I did kind of get off right here, but this ain't a Michelangelo, so I'm not worried too much. Although I do like stuff to be proper. Now, if you're watching this and you're wondering what the F is with this guy's arm, left arm, I'll tell you. I broke my arm twice, my left arm twice. Back in the old days, the doctor, the family doctor, uh, just, <laughs> I remember it all vividly. Just to make a long story short, now this is the guy who came to your house when your dad was sick with his black bag and treated him. But uh, when I broke my arm for the second time in the same place, he, uh, he just didn't set it. <laughs> That's the long and short of it. Uh, I was about seven years old. I remember standing in his office. He just took me in and put a cast on it. Oh, she's getting off here. And, uh... Shoot. It's not quite working. And anyway, um, I guess I'm thankful for the fact that it's usable. So, now I got to go around these edges. Okay, so I'm just going to and 
Yeah. I think I'm going to try some scissors <laughs> and take these edges off. This looks like I can get this one here. That one. Okay, a little rough there. That just leaves these two. What the heck? I'll try it with this. It's not going to be perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Again, I got this at the dollar store. I got a, well, uh, not the dollar store, excuse me. I got this at, I got this at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And uh, this was my, um, I think I explained this in another video that will be attached to this, but this is my um, floor mat that I had that I recently replaced. It was under my office chair. And so this is what we this is what we have. Now it's really close. This edge needs to be trimmed. But you get in here and you can you can show see that this edge here needs to be trimmed. Probably do that with scissors. And a little trimming here. And uh, I don't know what I'll do here. Maybe just sand this. And I'll figure out a way to fix this it's down. It's not going to be a big deal, I don't think. But overall, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, I'm way off there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And uh, I could always use a table space, so there it is. Uh, probably paid two or three dollars for it at a garage sale and painted that top, and that's it. You've basically seen everything. I don't really know that I need to add any of the other former videos. This is the this is it, it's an old table I bought at a a garage sale. And again. Now, if this was uh, glass and a little bit clearer, it would have a lot more luster, but then that would cost a lot. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to get some more decent looking table space for cheap and for crafting and whatnot. And I think that uh, that'll do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Well, the other day when I was working on this, I said, well, this is a wrap. Uh, basically, I had it. But the truth is, it needs some cleaning up. Um, I've got corners that perhaps you can see. Uh, they're not quite right. And um, I'm going to just try to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to use some scissors here, maybe a linoleum knife, and uh, see what I can do. Uh, this, it does cut with scissors. These aren't very good scissors though, jeez. But uh, nevertheless, that's a much nicer edge. It does look much better. So, 
The other thing now is, uh, you know, I said I would attach this, and I don't need anything really permanent. So what I'm going to try, I, I thought I had some black Sculpey, but I don't. I have some uh, gray plasticine here. And so but I could always replace it in the future with a little black plasticine. So, or black Sculpey. I'm just going to take this and make four little balls. And set them on the corner. And then I'll I'll just put the plastic on it, press it down, and I just don't think it'll slide around and it'll make a decent enough, you know, um, hopefully, uh, a decent enough, um, it'll adhere enough that it, it just won't be a problem. Of course, won't know until I actually do it. Okay, so I got a piece on every corner. They're not sticking too well, that's for sure. We'll see. Now I'll just... Oh, well, it'll to be... To be honest, this isn't working that well. So I'll probably have to figure out something else. I mean, first of all, I would want it black, and I would use a tiny, a tinier piece of, uh, <laughs> of clay than that. But um, I mean, it's not going to slide. But it, you know, the, I could push on this. It's not going to slide, but it's not the best. But then again, again, this is just a, a table I've uh, acquired for crafting. And I um, doesn't need to be perfect. Nothing about this here requires perfection, thankfully. Uh, it's just a two or three dollar table with a cheap paint job and a 99 cent scarf to adorn it. And this is more of a wrap now and I'm going to let you see. I'm going to go around it here. And you can see what we got. And I am going to have to tighten up the leg. It's no big deal. But this will make a nice table for whatever. Um, a lot of times I come out here and um, out the patio and I bring a deep fryer out. And uh, in fact, I was using this table <laughs> to set the deep fryer on. And now it's just be a better uh, table because this... Uh, uh, a plastic that I put on there will, um, you know, protect the surface uh, before I got a lot of oil on it and whatnot, even though I put paper down. And uh, when I need a table for crafting, I can just pull it out and use it. Okay, so now that's it. Uh, I'm done for now with this one.